within system and the institutional strengthening is the strengthening of the county MND system. This initiative has been jointly started with the county governments, with the county MND leads and the technical officers through the principle of county-led, county-managed, and the county all. Today, the, CA, the ECMAS launching is one of the products that county is currently taking through le their leadership. Why we are focusing on ECMAS? Last year, we have done an MND capacity assessment which was led by the county MND technical officers. In that assessment, there are quite a number of uh, findings came out. Out of that, two major ones I can mention. One is the rollout of ECMAS. The second one is the formation and establishment of county MND technical working group. This assessment was done in November 2020. So we, has, we have started the rollout of ECMAS on uh, through benchmarking. We brought one of the successful uh, county who have best experiences in Tana River. This was the advice was actually provided by the county government. Then based on that, in May, 20, uh, May 2, 24 up to 27, for five days, there was a benchmarking a benchmarking uh, session in Nyanyuki. So most of the technical officers of the county government have been participated on that. The other one is sensitization of the county chief officers and the county executive committee members on ECMAS. This was also happened in August 17, accomplished the sensitization of the county uh, CCOs on OCMS as part of the series of activities. I would like to thank the county team, especially our Nawiri champions. Dr. Ahmed Galgalo, Bona Mustafa, and the other county uh, C uh, CSOs for the leadership that provided the support to roll out the CCMS. So the county MND team has entered a lot of information, which was right a couple minutes ago. We have demonstrated, we have seen. The main purpose of that platform is to tell us the progress achievement. How far have we achieved in terms of implementing the sector development activities? This information is helpful for program decision, decision making, as well as also to demonstrate to the public all the investments that have done to be demonstrated through this whole platform. That is why we focused the ECMAS uh, rollout. The second component was actually the MND Technical Working Group. We have really a good collaborative joint meeting. We have done, we have developed the TOR, we have endorsed it, we have reviewed together, and then it was endorsed. That is also accomplished. These are the major two key activities that have been done. That it doesn't mean this is just it's an initial start. Our collaboration, our engagement will continue further. With this, today we are going to also support on the ICT equipment for use for the county trained technical officers. These technical officers have been also trained for two days from uh, at Nyanyuki on Monday and Tuesday on especially how to manipulate and delete the ECMAS platform in terms of data entry, data editing, as well as data organizing, and then demonstrating, uh, the generating the performance results. So with this, I would like to thank who provided support to us to reach to this level. The, uh, the county secretary, Dr. Ahmed Gilgalo, for your, for your leadership, including the county CAS, as well as also other uh, Nawiri team. I would like to thank on behalf of MND for your leadership support uh, and the contributions. With this, I would like to stop.
my speech and the call our deputy chief of party for making opening remark on this session. Thank you. To me, shukuru sana kuwa hapa today for the launch of ECMS rollout. Eh, kwa kimombo wanasema data ni is equals to what numbers. Na wanasema numbers don't lie, sindio? Kwa hivyo this is a very important tool in our work as nawiri because tulipoanza 2 years ago eh uh, tulisema this will be county owned county managed county led hiyo wakati ilikuwa inakaa kama story lakini we've done 2 years our plan must be integrated with the county plans so as development actors we don't come with solution from outside tunakuja tunakaa na nyinyi mnasema tunataka kuendelea aje and you own the process so this tool will assist us more especially now we are going to year 3 tunaenda mwaka wa 3 na mwaka wa 3 ni implementation ile wakati tulikuja hapa tulisema tunafanya research miaka mbili hata mkatuambia hiyo miaka mbili ni mingi sana lakini imeisha inaisha hii mwezi hii from october 1 tunaanza the real implementation tulikaa na directors wako bwana CS na chief officers na na, na wili team tuka develop year 3 plan which you approved kwa hiyo year 3 plan iko na wash activities pale ndani tunaanza kufanya rehabilitation ya borehole tunaanza kujenga borehole zingine na maji na tracking si maji ni shida isiolo sio isiolo peke yake merti garbatula ukitembea huko kwote eh, water is a big issue and we cannot say we are addressing the issues of acute malnutrition if we do not address issues related with water and infrastructure related to water. So part of the approval in year 3 ni this implementation. Na he mutaeka hapa because it is owned by the county. So we want to see it in the dashboard huko. Eh hata niliambiwa na Elias you can do GPS. Location ya borehole iko wapi? Iko inafikia wapi? And this is how we'll be accountable to the public kwa sababu kama jamii mnaweza enda pale tutauliza CS aweke billboard kubwa huko inaonyesha projects za county ziko wapi at what stage uh, na hiyo itakuwa mzuri sana so i know elias has talked a bit about ecms lakini ningependa kusema tuko wapi kwa mradi wa nawiri kidogo kwa ufupi so currently drought uh, is yolo marsabit the assas ime imezidi sana si mmeona mifugo yetu ina inakufa jamii zetu hawana maji so in in awiri tuko na two drought emergency response that are ongoing we worked also together with your office and they approved na last week we had a meeting with USID na wakatuambia hii drought inaendelea kuwa kali sana so wametuambia to put another concept note which we will work with your team and they will approve for us to continue even past October. So tutaendelea, you know, these shocks to uh, alleviate the suffering of our people. And then, as I talked uh, earlier, we continue working closely with um, the MSP platform, whose chair is here. Tunashukuru sana bona waziri. Tunaendelea kuenda pamoja nao na year three, year four. Tunataka kuona the real, the real uh, change to the acute malnutrition levels within uh, Isiolo County. So kwa hayo mengi na machache, I really want to thank your leadership in the guidance and providing that support for us to move forward. Na analeta salamu kutoka kwa my country representative, hangeza kufika hapa, anaitua Rebecca Halam, na pia our chief of party, Murad Eidi, amewasalimia sana. Mwesalimika? Uh, Santi sana. The main aim of us today here is to, uh, to launch the issue of ECMS. We are talking of issue of data. And we say, numbers don't lie. My appeal is that, let this thing not be left today as we launch. Let's continue updating our data. Because as I said earlier on, this thing is called ECMS. It's not working in isolation. It's working with the national, which is called ENMS. So at national level, those who are coordinating uh, 
issue of enemies, we'll see every county how they are doing in terms of the progress, in terms of development. Because we expect us to see from this uh, uh, application the project where it is now and where it's going to supposed to end. The one which has told which are continuing and the expected that is going to be completed. I want to appeal now to uh, Ben Mose. That is data. As county, we want to come up with something called GIS to know exact location of this project where it is. We have other partners like uh, uh, Massacos and others. So we kindly request to, to come together because you are all from uh, USA so that we can realize our dream of having the geographical information system for us to know where these projects are. Now it's just a data. Let's go further and also have to see the location of these data. Uh, the other thing is that I want to thank sincerely. Uh, you have done a lot initially. We normally say a friend indeed is a friend indeed. When we had issue of Corona, you are the first to respond to us. We needed you so much that time. Now we are in drought, you are with us again, trying to assist us where we are unable to reach in terms of fuel and the rest and repair of the whatever. We say thank you so much. I want also to thank the team from the FOCO guys uh, from every department. You have a big task. Kindly update this information that is required. This information is what the, the county number one requires for him to know the approval of this project. Kindly, we have a lot of questions. You do your work to be Continue uploading. I want to take this opportunity uh, to say a big thank you. One to Nawiri for the journey we have uh, been working together over the last two years and ahead of us in the next three years. I want to say thank you very much. There are quite a number of areas that we have been working together, which has been mentioned by a number of chief officers. I don't want to go back to that. Uh, secondly, uh, a big thank you to the county government uh, for taking the lead uh, in partnership. I think partnership is the way forward because it makes us to contribute in terms of knowledge resources so that there will be minimal waste and maximum uh, results for whatever we do together uh, as a team. Therefore, I want to say thank you very much to both. Uh, secondly, I think what we are doing today is going to make a very big difference in our county. Uh, what I'm saying that is, as every other person who talked ahead of me said about data, it's very critical. The world over, you cannot make any decision without data. A critical decision to manage the county or programs cannot be based on personal inclination or political decisions. We must have figures to base our planning upon. I think as soon as we will be able to establish this and we put those data together, uh, it will go a long way in terms of improving uh, the way we plan, the way we monitor, and then we evaluate our programs. So I want to say thank you very much. I think this is the right way to go uh, for us to be able to improve on the quality of the uh, programs and the result which is going to benefit uh, the public. Number two, I think it is one thing to train and provide these hardware equipment. It's another to make use of this knowledge and equipment to make a difference in the lives of the people we work with. I want to urge the Office of the County Secretary, sir, that over the next three to six months, I think we really need to pull up our socks and make sure this system is operational. Once we have done that, uh, uh, we'll, there will be very little that uh, we uh, require from the team. But I think the beginning, from the beginning, it is very, very important for us to make sure that we're doing the right thing 
and we are having the right data uh, for purpose of planning. Uh, that is what one thing that I really, really want to uh, uh, add you. Finally, I think we started MSP uh, fairly long ago, and we'll be working uh, quite with quite a number of other partners, not necessarily uh, Nawiri. And uh, we have been planning uh, to meet with our county governor, who is our nutrition champion. Uh, we made that difference, and second is in the office, where all the CECs, relevant CECs, uh, are chairing and co-chairing myself and Dr. Mungera. And I think uh, it is important that this time, as I did mention last time uh, in our meeting, when Naviru was launching the, uh, uh, the drought intervention uh, activities at the Catholic Relief Services, that uh, we organize, we have a meeting with the governor to be able to brief him all in this so that he's going to take the lead and all of us follow. I think that will make a very big difference in terms of one, understanding two, ensuring that he's leading the process and we all follow. county government staffs wote matunda leo tunaona ya kulonje mandi katika county yetu imetokana na juhudi zenu zote. Kwa hivyo mimi nashukuru nyinyi sana. Na pili pia mimi nashukuru hao mama wetu Sky Oda kwa umetuimbia hapa umetufurahisha na pia wametupea message. Na message ile wamepeana hapa katika hiyo wimbo wamesema wacheni na mambo ya kuongea. Mujione ile inafanyi Si ni kweli? Yes. Kwa hivyo wame wametupea message maana especially kwa wale ambaye wanatoanga tu you know wanapenda ku criticize serikali yetu wameongea kweli. Na sasa 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 tumesonga mbele kabisa. We have now digitalized automated our system. M&D system. Whereby all the project CIDP inawekwa, ADP inawekwa, uh, budget inawekwa, uh, project yote ya department yote inawekwa. Na sasa hata mwananchi ambaye ako mashambani ama ako uh, kijijini anaweza kuingia na kujionea vile project inaendelea. Sasa hakuna mambo ya kuongea tena sisi will not talk. Data will talk for itself itself. Na mimi nashukuru sana na wili kwa sababu despite the fact that wako na kazi mingi ya kufanya lakini wameona wajenge system. Na wametusaidia kujenga hii system. We are in we are in information age. Eh? Sasa zamani tulikuwa tunafanya M&D yetu manually. Tulikuwa tunakimbia marti wapi kuangalia project, kupiga mapicha na kurudi hapa na kupest hiyo mapicha kwa report yetu na tuna present report yetu ya M&D. Lakini sasa will be just doing verification tu ya kupitia mara moja. Lakini eh, the data data report itatoka kwa data ambayo iko. Tuko na county M&D administrator. Wapi Wapi nani? Shukri. Shukri ndio huyo sasa. Is the county M&D administrator account yetu sasa. Yeye ndio ana manage hiyo system. Lakini kila department iko na M&D person. Na mimi naomba sana chief officers na CC tafadhali. Mufanye isikuwe tu mtu mmoja. Kila department ikuwe na team ya ku manage an M&D issue. Because this one is very critical. Na tuhakikishe kwamba iwe na budget pia. Kila department iwe na budget ya M&D because our brothers wametuleta paka hapa sasa and we are launching eh? from the time of taking us for benchmarking with the counties ambaye me advance kama Tana River na tukatembea pamoja paka wame train CCs chief officers wame train focal persons wote eh? na leo sasa wameleta hardware ya, ku, ya, ya system ili mali system itatumika na leo we are launching together so from there, we as a government now, we need to pick it. Picking means you have to input the right, accurate data. 
because garbage in garbage out si kweli ukiweka information ambayo sio sio sahihi utapata tu result ambayo haitakuwa sawa so tuweke tuhakikishe iko watu ambayo wako dedicated to this system ambayo wataingisha accurate information ambayo sasa from there public can be able to to see na jamani this is a requirement by the constitution of Kenya 2010 eh? which actually emphasizes on the principle of good governance transparency and accountability so it is mandatory on us to embrace the M&D system county government act 2012 requires us to do that pfm act 2012 requires us to do that eh? and as a as, as a government which actually believes in transparency and accountability we need to also embrace this system naikalele mingi yote inaisha peke yake also wale contractors ambaye wanafanyanga shoddy job ama wawamalizi project in good time he system will expose them will expose them because you will be able to know whether project is going to happen or to be completed in good time or not and immediately red flag will be raised and will query why right and this will make sure that 100% of all project which had been initiated will be completed right so that is why we believe in this system that this will change radically the way we are doing our business in this county government and i really want to thank nawiri I told them when we came together and discussed this issue of implementing uh, M and D system, I gave them less of a deadline on this matter. I told them September, and are we not in September? Huh? Can we clap for them, Jaman? Can we clap for them because they have really honoured the deadline we have agreed on. Hmm? So I really want to thank you. I don't know how to thank Nawiri really because. I know the principle of co-creation, co-ownership, and co-implementation. If there is any organization which is dedicated and committed to that principle, which was developed by the USA, it's Nawiri. And I really want to thank them. And they're engaging us every now and then. And they are flexible. You have seen, drought ile kitu to launch juicy. Wakati wanaona shida ya drought imezidi, they come out and give us a small budget. For intervention, and it is really helping. Mafuta, there's a lot of things that they have really given. So we don't take this for granted, my brothers. And Tafadali, take our message to Murad and the county director that really we are proud of you and we are happy with your work. And I know you are going to deliver on your mandate because you have a good team in place. Just give that message. So Jamani, his system, we mean a mini. Ndiyo itakuja kuzima hii makalele ya watu kusema pesa imeibiwa, pesa imeibiwa hapa na pale without any proof. Because kama budget inaonyeshwa hapa mwana raia yoyote anaweza toka nje aangalie budget ya this financial year. Aone project fulani is supposed to cost 8 million. Whether the the cost has been exaggerated or not itajulikana. Kweli ama wrong? Haya, kama hiyo project imefanyika ama haijafanyika si inaonekana. So, it's not only the county government which is going to use this system. It's also the public will which will use the system, you know, to scrutinize us. And we are ready for that. Because we hide nothing from the members of the public. Right? So, tafadhali sana tufanye BD kama serikali sasa to make sure that we use this system for the betterment of Isiolo people. He, Mbeleni, Muliona, we were manual. We are doing our work manually. And now we are going digital. So make sure the CECs and the chief officer invest in this system by training your people properly to use this one, to, to use this system. And make sure that you have also access as managers to this system so that you'll be monitoring, you'll be tracking you know, the progress of different projects and programs, in that if there is any issue, you immediately raise flag and have a meeting around it so that we correct the situation, right? So let's make use of this. As a way forward from today's launch, 
and this is a message from His Excellency the Governor. Our, from today, the first quarter will end in December. And we are going to have county uh, performance conference, performance assessment conference in December. And that is the day we require also our partners to join us so that we celebrate the result of this, of this system. Because by that time, you have inputted all the data and you can be able to see what are the number of projects they have initiated and the status of those projects. Right? And we can be able to evaluate ourselves based on that result. Performance management for staffs, performance contracting and performance appraisals, there is a component for that also in this system. Right? So we no longer now do manual again on issues of performance. We'll go now digital. So, Tafadali, come up, wewe, wewe, nini target yako hujamit ngangana mapema. Kwa sababu sikuyo, governor atapata kwa his mobile phone, atakuangalia kile wario galma ame perform, depending on his target. Ama uwaziri gole. Right? So, sasa sisi tumenda digital, jamani watu esiolo pia wajue na mna hiyo, sasa mambo ya makartazi itakuwa chache, Kila kitu performance ya staffs na performance ya project tutaona kwa simu. Governor akiwa anakaa popote, ataangalia tu simu yake ya najua e, mtu fulani, staff fulani, hamefanya kazi kani. Right? So tafadhali sana, e, we need to embark on this journey to make sure that by December we are going to celebrate the best performance e, kwa, kwa CCs, chief officers and directors and others. And also we, we also celebrate departments based on their performance in terms of completing their projects in time. Only completing is not an issue. Completing in time is what we really value a lot in this government. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the